It's the Mountain Country Athlete of the Week, brought to you by the Colorado Springs Orthopedic Group. And this week we're with Team USA freestyle wrestler Tiara E.K. Tiara, thank you for being with us. We appreciate it. And I wanted to ask you, how are things going for you? It's going really smooth. Recovery has been going really well. Uh, training has been amping up, and now we're looking at possibly competing in Spain in the next month. What uh, is your secret so far to your success? Wrestling is this huge aspect of our life, but also you know, being able to step back from that and focus on who we are outside of the room really keeps that fire within us burning. And of course, like having this great team at the Olympic Training Center, you have a bunch of Olympians, world team members, national team members, and of course a great staff, Coach Terry Steiner, um, Coach Jessica Medina, Coach Izzy. They're all just great support and they really push us all in the room every day. And a headlock from EK, she plants her on the back, that's gonna be it, Tiara EK. Or, or both of these are actually from the Junior World Team Trials. Uh, 2020 was the one that was affected by COVID, so there wasn't technically a world team set there. But this one right here is the one I er earned most recently. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to actually compete at Junior Worlds in Russia due to sustaining another concussion. So hopefully we'll get more of these and actually be able to travel. <laughs> Headlock to the fall in impressive fashion. And she's going to make the junior world team. Do you have like a, a secret move? I mean, I guess I do have like our go-to shots, such as like the high crotch. But I'm also like really big on the upper body offensively. Um, but I feel like I surprised myself with some of the moves I'll do too. <laughs> exactly how did you get involved in you know, starting to compete in women's wrestling in the first place? So my older brother, uh, Chance, he was the first one to introduce us to wrestling. We have a little bit of jiu-jitsu background. Um, but then when it came to looking at college, that's kind of where wrestling came in and possibly getting a scholarship from there to help cover a lot of the financial aspects. Next thing you know, I was wrestling at my club in Grabler's Hawaii, or went to compete at a few national tournaments. Uh, and that's where the Olympic Training Center had picked me up uh, around like 2018. And it's just gone up from there. Is that where you got the love for the sport? Absolutely. Your brother? Yeah. <laughs> Big time. I mean, he wrestled us when we were little, and it's just, you know, we got to fend for ourselves. But there's like four girls in the family, one boy, so he traded us like brothers. <laughs> like, what would you like to accomplish? Um, so the big goal is, of course, the Olympic gold medal, um, making the Olympic team. But also there's world, child, world titles out there uh, on the senior level, U23. Right now I'm U23 eligible, just had my last year in juniors. So getting back into that competition, qualifying for those teams, and competing domestically and internationally, just collecting as many titles as I can and improving just overall. I think it takes a lot of discipline, you know, getting to know how to approach nutrition, you know, just being able to be mindful about what we're putting into our body, um, how much, you know, we're training and adjusting that with the weight room. The weight cut is pretty decent. It used to be pretty hard at least seven to ten pounds but now i try to stay within at least like two three kilos what's your ideal weight um probably around oh you, i thought you said you're not supposed to ask women <laughs> for lady boys. <laughs> but probably around like 55 kilos right now coming up in spain in july here in just a few weeks tell us about this competition and how big of a deal is it for you for me personally this is a lot bigger than what other girls may approach it as um this is the spain grand prix and usually the Grand Prix are you know, pretty tough competitions. Um, but for me, this is going to be my first tournament back in probably like about a year, uh, coming back from these two concussions last year. So this is really going to put me to the test and see where I'm at as far as uh, recovery and progress. Here with two-time world team member Tiara E.K. Guy Gurdon, the sports guy for Mountain Country Sports.